One of my favorite things about Japan is the capsule hotels. Now, obviously, they're not the most comfortable accommodations, but they present a fantastic alternative to hotels for the budget conscious traveler. And if you can get one with an onsen or a bathhouse, even better. This is the capsule hotel that I stayed at in Akasaka, Tokyo. It was $30 a night and it was actually pretty nice. When you enter, you take off your shoes so everything is really clean. There were lockers and getting into the locker room itself required key card access so your belongings felt secure. The toilet greets you. The bed and the pillow were surprisingly comfortable. Your capsule has outlets so you can charge, a little desk so that you can work, and even a TV. There are balconies on each floor. The only downsides to this particular capsule hotel were that one, the rooms could have been a little bit more soundproof, and two, there could have been a little bit more in terms of public spaces. Overall though, I thought it was a fantastic deal for the price, but my favorite capsule hotel was the one in Shinjuku that was attached to the onsen. This was $50 a night, but you had unlimited access to a bathhouse that was open 24 seven, well, except for between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. or something like that, but it was open all night. Now you have multiple hot water baths, one even being outside. You have saunas that are actually hot, cold plunge. It's just heaven on earth. Everything you need is there. You have a lot of open spaces to relax, a library, a restaurant. One of these massive rooms is just filled with people sleeping at night. I guess it's the discounted rate or something like that. I was basically the only foreigner there, which is pretty cool. It's just a hilarious atmosphere because it's in the red light district and it's just filled with Japanese businessmen and nobody talks to each other. Now this place has unfortunately since been closed, but it seems that there are other capsule hotels attached to bathhouses. So I highly recommend checking those out. I definitely will be next time I go to Japan. If I lived in Japan, I'd probably actually try to live in one of these things. Although who knows how long I'd last. I really wanted to check out the internet cafes. You can actually live in them. There's this whole class of people called the cyber homeless that stay in these things because it basically costs like $8 for eight hours or something like that. I checked out the lobby of one of these internet cafes. It was super nice. Didn't get a chance to go in though. Definitely next time. Now I know a lot of you are thinking, oh my God, these capsule hotels are too small. I'd feel claustrophobic. Well, no shit. They're not meant to be long-term accommodations. They're meant to be cheap spots to sleep for people who don't want to pay a hundred plus dollars for a hotel. Also, most of these capsule hotels have big open spaces so that you don't have to be in your capsule the whole time anyways. And again, they'll generally go for around $30 a night or so. When I went backpacking through Europe and stayed at hostels there, I was basically paying $30 a night for a room with a bunch of bunk beds crammed into it. And I don't know about you, but if for the same price, given the choice between a room with a bunch of bunk beds and a Japanese capsule hotel, I'm gonna go with the Japanese capsule hotel, but that's just me. You just get a lot more privacy. You don't have to listen to everybody else snoring. It's significantly cleaner. Your belongings feel more secure and it's just a much more pleasant experience. It's 2018. It's time to stop living like zoo animals in bunk bed hostels and start living like human beings in capsule hotels. Yeah, and it starts with you, and it's not a lie, but it's far from true, it don't